Hey, uh, what am I doing? Well, good question. It's fall here at the Mefford Endeavors Farm, and uh, it's actually October 17th. Um, and what I'm doing right now is I am pulling all the tomato vines off because we're going to get a good frost tonight. But we still have some of these green tomatoes, so I'm collecting those to bring them inside. Um, no sense letting them go to waste. Um, because they'll brown, they'll ripen up in the house. So I got, a, I got a whole bag here of a bunch of green tomatoes. Um, and all of this tomato vineage, look at the, the size of these. Um, we're gonna throw all of this to the, to the chickens and let them just do what they do. But the whole reason I had you out here um, is uh, we're gonna plant some garlic. So I've gone through all the process um, throughout the year we did the garlic scapes and we did the harvesting of the garlic uh, But I wanted to come back full circle to planting garlic. So very similar to our onions um, Except that we do this in the fall So We have this bed. This is where the tomatoes were. It's really nice loose soil um, We've added a little bit of some compost to it and I've got, this is our harvested garlic, and we've got several pounds of harvested garlic. So this is your garlic clove, well, your, your bulb, this is what we harvested. And in here, underneath all the little skins, are individual garlic cloves, and that's what we plant. So if you look at the garlic bulb, the stalk would have been here, the roots are here, when you plant them, you do the same. You can see the flat end is where the roots were, and this little wisp up here is where it wants to face up. And it, it's really one of the simplest things to plant. Um, you just break them apart, and you quite literally just stick them down in. I put about a hand width between them, and you just go through, and you just push them down in doesn't get a whole lot more difficult and in a matter of probably 10 minutes I can have this whole bed planted with all of the garlic. Uh, we normally do two beds of garlic. This year we are actually doing five beds because sales were that good at the farm and we had a lot of people asking. Um, I prefer to grow hard neck garlic and if you want to learn about garlic there's actually a lot of different varieties. The type that I have, you get one clove real close to the stalk. Um, the other kind that a lot of people grow is called artichoke garlic, and you get a lot of the little tiny cloves, and I'm not a fan. I prefer, this is the same garlic we've grown here for probably the last six years. Um, nice, big, hefty cloves. Uh, it's pretty good heat, but not overpowering. Uh, they dehydrate beautifully. And I bought these in upstate New York at a farmer up near Lake Ontario. Um, and they do really well here if we have a cold winter. They'll make it through. Some of the other garlics never survive the winter. So we know this grows well in our soil. So that's, that's what we grow. Um, we have three beds. We get about 90 cloves to a bed. So we'll have about 300 to 320 of um, our garlic. And then we planted red shallots, same exact way. You break the cloves, you put them in. That way we have onions in the spring before our regular onions are ready. So that's what we're doing on this fall day at the farm.